Hey everyone, I have an update for you guys today. Um, some pretty exciting stuff to share. And uh, if you've been following the website, uh, I'm pretty sure some of you may already know what that may be. Uh, we're gonna start off with uh, the normalish stuff first and we'll move on to that at the end. So last time I shared a few shirts from Cavity Colors and Fright Rags, and now we have another one here. Uh, they came out with the Ash vs. Evil Deadline. I decided to pick up this one in particular. Uh, forgive the shirt, it's, uh, it needs to be washed. Uh, this is the Asylum Ash, and they came up with some pins, and I decided to pick up these two. This one's cool because the chainsaw goes in and out, and obviously this one is the Ashy Slashy Puppet. Uh, you can see the background is the car. Really cool. Uh, once again, I've already stated my opinion so many times about these pins. Pins are oversaturated in the market right now, so uh, to buy every single one just would just be emptying your wallet. There's so many pins out there now. I got this shirt because, to be honest, it's like the one that was, in my opinion, the best one. Uh, I was not really in looking into buying additional shirts, and as time goes on, I find myself to be even more and more picky. Uh, but this shirt's great. I really love it, and it seems to be like the favorite. Uh, lots of people seem to love this one the most. Uh, so I believe they still have the one for sale. You can go check it out. And the pins, too. And the thing about Fright Rags pins, let me tell you, when they sell out, people try to sell them for stupid prices on eBay. So there's one guy who's still trying, he's like, who's been trying to do that, and they're still available on Fright Rags. So buy them on Fright Rags if you want to get them for some person sides, too. Rob you blind. Um, this is the new Evil Dead, A Nightmare Reimagined vinyl from Mondo. Uh, as you can see, it's sealed and it's going to stay that way. If you want to look at the interiors, uh, you can find it online. It's absolutely gorgeous and beautiful, the artwork by Graham Humphreys. It's kind of sad in a way when you decide to keep it sealed that you're not going to be able to uh, appreciate the artwork in person. But I'm not the kind of person who has the kind of money to buy two of the same thing. So that's kind of how the cookie crumbles. Uh, as you can see, much like uh, this reminds me of like uh, when you buy Japanese laser discs, it's kind of like the Obi. <laughs> so uh, Mondo does lots of soundtracks. The art is really gorgeous. Um, it took him a while to finally do this. You can buy the music on Bandcamp. Really, really recommend it. Music's absolutely amazing. Uh, there's also, strangely enough, a uh, kind of like a different version of I think building, yeah, building the Death Coaster, uh, which like with just string instruments or something like that. I don't know how to describe it, but it's really cool and it's kind of strange. And it's on this vinyl because it's like not the Evil Dead's Army of Darkness, but you know, hey, Joe decided to do it, so he's like, yeah, I'm gonna put that in there, and uh, it's good. Uh, there's some advertisements on here uh, about what's also available, what's coming soon. So this little OB thing is for that. Uh, once again, I, I actually, on the official Twitter, I retweeted it, the insides of the artwork. You can check it out there. You can just do a quick Google search. It's really, really gorgeous. Don't buy these on eBay because they go up for high amounts of price. You want to buy something from Mondo, just buy it when it comes out and don't, like, if you can't get what it gets out, then you're supporting, you're supporting Mondo themselves, because supposedly Mondo are the ones who, uh, actually make fake eBay accounts and then double the price. So they're, they're, they're scammers themselves, supposedly. That's what I heard. So if that's true, then that sucks. Uh, I've been hearing lots of horrible things about practices of these companies lately, so. It's, it's like, I don't have any definitive proof, but... I'm so against like the, uh, the art of buying something and just doubling the price on eBay. I think it's ridiculous. So. There you go. Uh, nothing much to say about this here. This is just the trade for the latest Ash vs. Army of Darkness. This all happens in a school. The artwork, uh, I talked about it earlier when I bought the, the issue. I really, really like the artwork. It's nice to see different artwork. The cover is once again by Nick Bradshaw. Uh, great guy, if you ever get to meet him, he gives the best hugs. <laughs> yeah. 
one of the better ones in my opinion. So if you're on the fence and you only buy specific ones, this is a this is a good one. It's a good one. All right. Uh, I think you guys have heard about this. So here's these little prints here. Got an extra print. This came because I backed it on Kickstarter with the Book of the Thread. <laughs> this is not something I'm going to use. Uh, it's something more of an interest to show family. Uh, family is into this kind of stuff, actually. It's a cross stitch book. And it's huge! It's ginormous! It's. I, 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 I just like it. I, I am baffled but the amount of art like work that went into this book this is not uh this is not like a few pages this is a huge book I mean, just a book that teaches you how to cross stitch like evil dead designs it's crazy um this is uh published by one source press i believe that's what they're called here's the back <sighs> Yeah, Source Point Press, there you go. I'm bad with names. Unfortunately, mine came with a crease. I don't know how that happened. But, you can't win every time. So, this is not the kind of thing you just recommend to all Evil Dead fans. Uh, it's, I, I don't, I'm happy I got it because I felt like I supported someone's project, someone's passion, and it's something that can show family, which, they will find to be very strange. That's actually kind of cool. It's not that expensive for what it is. I think it's really reasonably priced. I think it's what, 30 bucks? But I mean, look what you got in here. It's crazy. So it's a pretty unique item, I gotta say. Uh, I can't really say much else. All right, um, special item coming right up. Now, I think you guys know that VIP, VIP fan auctions has been auctioning off stuff from Ash vs. Evil Dead. And lucky me, I was able to nab something. Uh, did not come at the right time. My budget's not the best right now. Uh, got lots of expenses going on. Uh, but in the end, I was able to get something. I probably won't be able to buy anything else before the auctions are over. Prices are way too much, especially for being a Canadian. Um, People who are collectors overseas are having a really, really hard time because of the cost in shipping is supposedly astronomical. Um, I did forward shipping to skip the uh, the shipping for me. Uh, they wanted to charge something like 88 bucks. I ended up paying uh, less than 50 because I did forward shipping because I know it does not cost that much to ship said item to my place. So that's what I did and I was able to get it. Uh, here's the certificate of authenticity that came with it. Pablo. So this comes from episode 210 Second Coming, which is the season finale of season two. This is not exciting to look at this. These are jeans. It's just jeans. Like, there's like a hole right there, whatever. Some holes. Really nice jeans, too. Like, really, really nice jeans. I gotta say, though, wow, are these tiny, tiny jeans. They're tiny. It's kind of hard to tell, but I'm not a really big person, and I can't put these on because they're too small. They're way too small. Uh, Ray Santiago must be the tiniest guy ever. Uh, he's got small legs, I can say that. However, the other item you wore, which is the one of interest, I'm going to make some room over here. Here's the jacket. So, let me tell you where this comes from, and I'll lay it out a little bit better. As you can see, it's kind of cool to see how they prepare these costumes, how they make them look, as if they went through hell, you know, right? Eh, it's kind of hard to do this. Apologize. Now this fits. This fits me. Uh, 
if we if we look at Paulo, he ended up working out, right? So he's more top heavy than than bottom heavy, I guess. So his legs are tiny, but he's got muscles, so he's got the arms, right? So here it is. Look at this nice logo here. World of wide world of winning. <laughs> Some sports, it's like a varsity jacket, zip up. My friend thought it was a hoodie, it's not a hoodie. There's a zip here. Fits really, really well, really comfy, really like it. And it got I gotta say it feels amazing to be able to wear something that was worn on set by Mr. Ray Santiago. This is from the scene where both Ash and Dana believe that they revived him uh, by uh, race in the past and when it comes back turns out it's ball right and because they ball trick them so th it's that scene and this is what he's wearing he's wearing this so if you go back to that scene you'll see that this is what it was so yeah uh, did it did not cost like nothing it cost quite a bit just the cost of shipping itself translates into extra right uh, but I am very happy because compared to everything else that I saw going up online I didn't pay that much so I got something in my opinion is really cool uh, you only see it in one scene it's not that long but it's still really neat otherwise and I'm gonna treasure it forever it's gonna be one of my favorite collectibles that's for sure uh, screen worn items from Ash for Steeple Dead so I don't really have much else to show. Uh, I just knew that the moment I got this, I needed to show it off because it's exciting. It's exciting to get this. And I really hope that you guys watching are bidding as well. I hope that some of these items are going to the hands of actual collectors, people who appreciate the show, appreciate you know, collecting and being able to own special in your home, something special in your home because when you're looking at these auctions, we're seeing how high these prices are for these items. You know that a lot of them are not going to the regular everyday man, especially the higher items such as uh, the Necronomicons and the Canarian Daggers and the Boomsticks and the Chainsaws and even some of Ash's outfits. Like we know that they're being paid by top dollar by people who have either lots of money, like, like supposedly like Kirk Hammett, or um, other prop stores who are just going to either take it and resell it or put it in whatever storage or display or whatever. Uh, so the more and more I see this go into people's hands, regular everyday people, it just makes me happy. And I really hope that you guys are taking advantage and I really hope you guys get to bring something home. I hope you guys appreciated this video. Um, I was really happy and really excited to show this off. Uh, I want to thank you once again for tuning in and next time.